In February 2013, specialist crane and components manufacturer DMAG was commissioned by Ranwater to undertake the first of its kind turnkey project in South Africa, involving the design, manufacture and installation of two desludging bridge cranes. DMAG's machinery will form an integral part of the process of converting water from the Val Dam and River into potable water, as flocculators mix incoming water with flocculant that attracts suspended solids and a resultant sludge that settles at the bottom of the tank. This automated desludging bridge will scour the 10,000 square meter floor to remove this sludge layer. In total, 200 million liters of water is expected to flow through the system's tanks and 16 million liters of sludge pumped out by the bridges each day. Owing to the unique nature of the project, a number of challenges were encountered and efficiently overcome. Firstly, DMAG cranes have never been designed to handle water and the manufacturer had little time to learn the technical aspects of pumps and hydrodynamics. The pantograph was also a new concept proposed by DMAG as a more robust and reliable solution compared to the current sludge bridges used elsewhere and required extra engineering effort to ensure first-time success. Logistics were another concern, as the cranes each weigh 60 tons and are 40 meters wide. A partnership with the trusted transport company solved this challenge. Bearing in mind the complexities of the project, DMAG stood out from the rest of the competition thanks to its unrivaled 20 years of experience in developing advanced crane technologies. Together with its 40,000 square meters under roof manufacturing facility, this competitive edge ensured that DMAG was able to completely manufacture, assemble, and test the machinery in house before transporting the completed machines in three parts with the main structures and auxiliary equipment transported in one piece. This is a major achievement. In the past, all these sludging bridges were delivered to Randwater in parts, with final manufacturing on site. The project took a total of 21 months to complete, including delivery of all the components on site. The estimated commissioning date on the project is June 2015, once power has been installed to the site. Although these bridges are prototypes, Randwater and DMAG are confident that this new type of concept will set the standard in the local industry, creating the potential for exports to burgeoning international markets too. This will be a proudly South African contribution, owing to the fact that the local content of this project is an impressive 80%, which creates the potential for sustainable job creation and skills development in the foreseeable future.